Hi there everyone, welcome back to another week um, on Easy Eye Painting. This week I'm going to try something different. Something, I was just kind of sitting down in, in at home there and I thought, you know what, let's just try something different. So I'm going to paint something like a wine glass with some red wine. So um, let's see if we can create the effect of glass. How about that? Would that be a bit of, you know, something different, something exciting, something just kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, I have a picture behind me which I want to show you. It's one I finished and it turned out really nice. It's a, a pint of Guinness. So let me just show you what and see what you think. Now, it is here. I painted this now just about a week or so ago and uh, do you know I was just sitting down at home. There was nothing on the TV. So I thought I'd just get my paints and my little bit of canvas and just see what happens. It was actually St. Patrick's Day. Um, or the day previous and I thought you know what for St. Patrick's Day let's just do this just for a bit of a crack you know what I mean so um, yeah it turned out pretty good I like the effect I got with the glass um, you can see the top there and you know the writing was a little bit off but I don't mind I don't mind so I thought it might be nice to paint something in glass just to show you how I would approach something like this so what do you think I think it might be nice. Let's just have a go and see what happens. Get your canvases, get your paints and see if you can follow me along on this one. This is going to be a nice one, I think. I hope. So let's, uh, let's crack on and have a bit of fun with this. Don't go anywhere. Okay, here we go. Um, 16 by 12 canvas and I have primed this twice. And the only reason I primed it twice is because I really like a smooth canvas and the primer kind of fills up the grain very slightly, you see? And then I give it a very light rub of sandpaper, very, very lightly, and it's really smooth. And that's how my paints really kind of smoothen around the, the canvas and they work on the canvas very well and they go very far. This was very, very dry initially when I bought the canvas. It's only a cheap canvas, canvas board. Um, it was like sandpaper. Very, very, very dry and it soaks up the paint and it wears down your brushes very, very quickly. So I always prime my canvas. All right, you don't have to do this if you don't want, but I just like it, especially for tutorials, because it gets very, very frustrating if you're trying to paint something and it's kind of soaking in on you and it's not staying wet for the time you want it to stay wet. It's very, it's very, very annoying. So I like to prime my canvas very well. Um, right, let me let me see what else I can tell you now about my canvases. Um, they're just regular cheap canvases, that's all. Okay, you can actually if you like. Um, if you don't like to prime your canvases, you could just give it a rub with some tissue or a cloth of linseed oil. So you could soak a cloth in linseed oil, rub it on, and that will take the dryness out of the canvas and it will help your paints kind of flow around that little bit better also. So try that, see how you get on. Okay, there's a photograph. Now what do you think about this? Something nice for a change, a little wine glass with some red wine. Isn't that lovely? And that chocolate just looks delicious, doesn't it? We'll try it and see how we get on, yeah? It's just for a, a bit of fun. Come on, a bit of fun, what, what harm could it do? Let me just um, do a quick sketch. So look, the table. Now, I might not necessarily even put the table in. You don't really have to. I could decide to just blend it all into the background later on. But we'll see as we go, okay? It's probably a bit high even. Let's bring it down a bit here. Let's bring it down. Bring it on down. Okay, my colours. I have titanium white, Naples yellow, some burn cyanide. This week I'm using some Van Dyke brown. It's not much different to burnt umber. Um, Van Dyke brown is just a little darker than burnt umber, that's all. I just have it there because I have two spare tubes in my box and I just want to try and use them up a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, so you can see now, if I bring this close, um, Van Dyke Brown and Burnt Umber, you can see there's only a very, very slight difference in the colours. Very, very, very slight. Van Dyke Brown is just a little bit darker, a little bit richer than Burnt Umber. So either will do fine. I have a little crimson some cadmium red, just to have some variety, and some thalo blue, a little tiny bit of black and a little tiny bit of yellow, cadmium yellow, just for highlights. I might not even need it, to be honest. Right, this is it. 
let's do this let's start with a nice sketch now i'm just going to sketch it very loosely i will probably paint over most of this sketch um anyway so i'm just wondering do i even need to sketch it uh, look less yes let's let's just give it a quick sketch right the bottom of the glass and this is always the tricky part trying to figure out where you should start your drawing it gets very you know it's very nerve-wracking sometimes especially for beginners deciding where to put that first sketch now let's bring it around like that I do want to go a little bit bigger than what it is on the photograph I think it might be nicer just to bring it forward a little bit now this is uh, you know we're going to change this now as we go don't worry and let's try and bring it up like that it gets narrower in the center and then it kind of comes back out again doesn't it okay and i suppose the most difficult part of all of this now will be trying to keep both sides exactly the same so there will there will be a lot of messing around with this one i reckon a lot of fiddling around um okay i'll bring this down like that it doesn't curve that much does it okay that's a bit better it's probably even too wide but look we can adjust it as we go now let's bring the sides of the glasses out like that um this side out like that and there's now it's a very funny kind of a wine glass isn't it i have i, I don't know what, what they're called but i was going to do just a basic round kind of a one but i thought this might make a little bit of a better challenge what do you think uh, let's go up like that and let's bring that point right across here so they're both the same and let's just give it a little turn like that then they kind of come back out again now that's probably even too sharp there let's bring it out slightly and this one the same so we're changing as we go again and let's flick it outwards then we have top of the glass i'm going to bring the top of the glass just down very slightly just to show the curvature of the top of the glass and then bring the top piece around very slightly like this you see so you can almost see kind of just over the top of the glass does that make sense now let me see okay i'm still not happy with this down here it's just not working for me a bit too big i find so let's just rub some of that out you know we're going to be painting over a lot of this now so don't be trying to get it perfect just enjoy yourself now with this and have a bit of fun come on it's um you know i'm kind of calling this a bank holiday tutorial just for a bit of fun yes now let's paint the wine or let's draw the wine let's just come around in a little curve there and these curves now will show the curvature of the glass you see these are very important and we bring the back one around slightly like that there is our wine and that is it that's all we need to do for that i think uh, we leave the chocolate on the left we might not even put it in let's see as we go that's it sketching done right brushes i will take I think I'll just go for a regular large stubby brush this time okay and I'm going to dampen this in some turpentine dampen it with some turpentine like this give it a little dry on some tissue just quickly like that nice and damp and that's a lovely background color there now isn't it it really complements the red the dark red so let's see what we can do um, I'm going to take some Naples yellow anyhow lots of naples yellow now this is very thick so i'm going to dampen it very very slightly okay it's a very thick rich opaque color so i'm going to keep it nice and damp now so that the paint moves around nicely and i'm going to take a touch of crimson into that and again i'm just dampening my brush just the corner of the brush very slightly just a little bit so when i'm getting my consistencies right I'm only just taking tiny amounts of turpentine with the corner of the brush every now and then just to get it right and let's take some white into that 
Now I'm thinking perhaps a little bit more pink, so a touch more of crimson, and again a tiny dab of top turpentine. I want it to be white, uh, wet, but it's not soaking wet. You understand? And each time I add white to this mix, it's going to thicken the paint up and make it more and more creamy. Okay? And I do want lots of white. I'm mixing up a good batch of this now so I can cover most of the canvas. And get right in there and I'll give it a good mix. More white again. And let's try that. So it's nice and creamy. Look, it's like a cream out of a tub, you see? Lovely and creamy. That's the consistency I want. Let's come down here now and put this in. And you see how well that's covering there now? Just because I primed my canvas very well. If I didn't prime this canvas now, this would be really dry, like sandpaper, and it would soak right in almost immediately. So I would advise, if you're using a cheaper canvas, um, even if you're using a decent quality canvas, you can do prime it. Try priming it once or twice and just see how you go. And I promise you will notice a huge difference in your paintings and you will start enjoying them a lot more, which is very important for me. Um, I always notice if my canvas is too dry, I have to work really, really hard to get the paint blended and stuff like that. And it just makes you more stressed out in the end, doesn't it? So I think this is much better. You're, you're, you're nice, you're at ease. You know it's working. You don't have to worry about it drying in too quick. And that's what it's all about for me. Okay, let's darken it slightly as we go up. I'm going to start taking some of the Van Dyke Brown or the Burnt Umber, whichever one you have, and some Crimson. And again, it's getting very thick down dry look, very thick paint, so I'm going to dampen it again very, very slightly just for some turpentine. Just a tiny, tiny amount on the corner of the brush. And then let's take lots of white. So now, let me just move this camera here slightly because it's banging on the board. And let's go up here now and try that colour. Okay, how's that looking? That's a nice warm colour, isn't it? No, there we go. And soften that in as we go up. And the tricky part now coming up is I'm going to continue this colour through the glass, the top half of the glass, okay? So I'm just going to suggest some of the colour. Now I'm painting over some of my lines, but I will still be able to see them very, very slightly when it's finished. So I'm just bringing this colour right through now as if the glass is not even there. All right. There you go, just like that. Um, I'll dampen my brush again, mix some more colour, get some crimson, some Van Dyke brown. And what I want to do is create, it's, it's sort of getting darker as it, as it moves across, isn't it? So let's go in now, nice rich colour here, some more Van Dyke brown. I might take a touch of burnt sienna. I can see a kind of a hint of sienna there somewhere. Let's put that up there and see. There, that's not a bad colour. Let's try it, show what arm. So only paint. Let's just go for it. Let's have a bit of fun. And let's go right down there. I've no idea how this is going to turn out. This could be a complete mess. But I kind of enjoyed painting that um, pint of Guinness behind us there. And I thought, you know what? I should have recorded it because it turned out so well. So why not try it on a glass of wine and see what happens. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But look, at least we had a bit of fun trying anyway. Isn't that right? So let's bring this on down here now. Nice, warm, rich colour. And you see what's happening now is we're getting two completely separate colours. I want this to merge all together. So I'm going to go back into some Naples yellow. And I'm going to get some white. My white is gone. So where is my tube of white? Here it is. No, that's that's a zinc white. I need titanium white. Ah, there we go. Titanium white. I had a spare tube of zinc white which I bought there one week. And it's just terrible white to use. It just did not work on the canvas. So I just left it in my box. Okay. 
titanium white and more naples yellow and i'm going to just mix that now into that color which i just put on just to brighten it very gently and i'm going to dry this on a tissue just take off some of that color and go back into some white and some more naples yellow it's a little bit thicker now and i'm going to soften it across now into this color here you see so they're almost merging together now two colors does that make sense right there we go now soft blender brush this one is not very soft but this has been used now quite a few times so let's just try it let's just soften this very gently together here and there it's just to take the harshness of the brush strokes off of the canvas that's all I like a nice soft kind of a background like this it's lovely especially for this type of uh, subject it's really lovely now let me have a look let me sit back now and take a look okay I'm quite happy with that next I'm going to start messing around now with some of the color inside the glass um, and what I might do is I might take a small brush right small pointy brush and I might just draw the outline of the glass and looking at the photograph I can see there's almost a light blue effect on that so I'm taking some titanium white here now with a very small small touch of thalo blue there's probably 90% white in this the blue just takes the brightness out of the white that's all and a little bit of turpentine not loads so it's again a creamy kind of a texture and I want to just put in the outline of the glass with this and don't worry now if it's not perfect we'll fix it later okay it's just for the top half because I, I know then where to keep my colors inside the lines and we have one or two on top would you like me to zoom in on this or can you see it okay there I want to show you my mixing as well you see um, let's just very gently put a suggestion across the top with those pencil lines there okay that will do fine I'm going to switch now to a little a little flat brush any old flat brush that you have at all it doesn't have to be perfectly flat it's quite splayed out look even the medium stubby brush will do for this and you can see in the glass there's kind of lights and darks through the glass so I'm going to take a little burnt um, uh, Van Dyke Brown rather I'll try a little Van Dyke Brown and perhaps a touch of black very very there's a very tiny amount of paint now on the brush very tiny amount it's very dry and because I can see hints of color of that dark color just kind of here and there popping like on the opposite side of the glass especially around the edges there's a kind of a dark color and I'm, I'm barely touching the glass with this now barely barely touching or touching the canvas okay barely touching it I'm just looking at the shapes and I'm looking at the direction of the shapes so I can see a bit of a dark coming down here and a slight kind of an angle okay and I can see we just take a touch more black in this now so it's a very blacky brown I have I can see a little hint of dark colour coming down at a little angle there very gently again and we have a little dark over here and I can see it's okay slightly some slightly warmer tones popping through we also have some lights I'll take a touch with the same brush now I'll take a touch of Naples yellow and I might just suggest a hint of that color kind of coming across and there's a bit down here so you can see now I'm just looking at where the colors are and the shapes of the colors and the direction of the colors are moving now that even on its own is probably okay let me just darken very gently just a second now see I'm scraping the color off my brush I want very little color on my brush for this um, I'm just going to go slightly darker on this side over here 
Now, okay, I put it down. And what I'm going to do next is soften all of this together with my soft brush. Look, downward strokes, keeping it nice and gentle. This will just be an illusion of lights and darks in the, the backside of the glass later on. Okay, do you understand what I mean? Right, next, I'm going to take, hmm, let me see. Okay, we're looking quite well. I'm going to take a small pointy brush and I'm going to take some of that blacky brown colour and I'm going to put some of that I'll take a touch of red as well on the top of the glass, on the rim of the glass so look, I think I'll zoom in now so you can see what I'm doing a little better, okay? and then I'll bring it up slightly and I'll put the photograph on your screen as well so you can just you can see exactly what I'm doing is that better? so a little dark colour and I can see up in the rim here there's that there colour coming across don't worry now if we make mistakes with this, this is just the initial filling in and we have one that comes underneath again it's very dry very dry painting put one under there we have suggestion of it just around the edges so basically just look at where the colours, where the dark little spots are little dark spots okay you see, it's kind of starting to make sense already, isn't it? And I'm going to mix a very bright highlight for the top of that rim. So I'm taking plenty of white and a little dab of blue again. So it's not bright white. It's a very bright blue, rather. And go along the top of this with that colour, OK? There we go. Clean the brush. Go back in for more and let's come along here over the glass clean the brush again go back into more bright colour and we go under this dark line that's looking quite nice isn't it we have a very bright one at this side I'm just kind of flicking it along, you see, and just almost softening it into the colour then as I go. Let's do the same just under here. Okay, that makes sense. And now we have kind of like a reflection that comes off of it there, don't we? A bit of white. Now it's mixing, it's mixing in with the colour that's already there, which is fine, okay? That's all right. If that happens, perfectly fine. And I'll take some phthalo blue with white and kind of go down this side. The glass like that. Um, the reflection there is kind of more, it's more a light blue than a white, I think. So I'm taking some light blue and I'm just going to sort of drag it down very gently. Sort of almost hit and miss the canvas, you see. And then I can see also some, there's a bit of light pink going on there. Strangely enough, I can see that now. There's a little, there's some crimson and some white. There's sort of a kind of a flick of reflection there. Coming through. And then it softens up, disappears. And we have a couple of lines coming down on the glass here which I can see we're going quite well now aren't we now we do have where the glass turns here as well I'm going to put just a hint of a little one just along here okay 
and that will kind of help you define where the glass sort of bends. Does that make sense? Now what I'm going to do at this point is just put my soft blender brush very gently. Let's just soften this one across anyway first. And I'll soften these ones very gently downwards. So they're kind of almost blending into the, the glass. But they're still holding their shapes, do you understand? Very soft. Look at it now. Stand back now and take a look at that. It's starting to look like glass, isn't it? It sure is. Okay, we have the same on this side. I'm going to go in again now and make some, take some phthalo blue, lots of white, and I might take a touch of crimson in this one. So a very light mauve colour. And let's go down the other side of this one. Um, okay, we'll follow the bend, redefine that slightly. Now, although it's not on the glass, I'm going to put one or two just in the middle. Okay, now I'm just going to redefine one or two of these here first. Because that's quite nice in there. I might put one or two just sort of flicking down here and there on the glass. Hardly even touching the canvas, okay? You see? It just gives the impression then of the reflection on the glass. Now let's soften it in very gently. And we have a very bright one just there, don't we? So let me just get a slightly bigger round brush. Just something that makes more of an impact. Okay, I'm just thinking I might just go with plain white for this. And it starts up there. And it just comes down and has a little tail, doesn't it? Now, clean my brush and go back into it again. And there we go. Okay. Now, I'll leave it at that. Okay, I'm thinking um, I'm going to take a touch more of Thalo Blue with lots of white again with this brush and put just a thick little bit of paint just on this hair barely touching it and somewhere over here and I might define this one again so there's a kind of a nice one coming around like that you see I'm just bringing them out a little bit more that's all and I'm thinking now I might just move on to the bottom bottom half of the glass and then we will um, finish with all the details later let me actually go in a small bit look how's that that's a bit better now is it let's fill in the wine mmm lovely red wine look at that lovely color lovely rich ruby red let's go for some crimson I'll take a small, small tiny drop of turpentine all right so lots of Alizarin Crimson and I will take now let me see let me just see for a moment I'm thinking a touch of black let me just check that for a moment yeah that's not a bad colour it's probably a little bit on the wet side so I'll just dab it slightly take that off and go back into some crimson and a little touch more black so let's have a look, that's better. I like that. So let's now go along and fill in this wine. So I'll give it a little curve down here, where it curves around. And then let's follow our glass. I can just make out the pencil lines very, only just. Let's fill that in. That's looking quite good, isn't it? Right, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush because this brush is very splayed out, you see? And it's difficult to get nice fine edges with this. So I'm going to go for... Um, let me just have a look now and see what I have here. Lots of my brushes, you see, are very splayed out because I use them for bushes and trees and things like that. 
So I want something with a nice kind of a fine edge. Maybe smart look. We'll go with a small stubby. There we are. Now I'm going to take some, um, let me see, some black into that and perhaps even a touch of phthalo blue. Just for the, and it's very thick paint on its own, no thinners. And it's very dark, isn't it? Just, it kind of comes out here and turns. It's very dark on this side over here. So I'm going to bring that dark right down. So I'm just basically now going to work in some nice darks into this. I'll take a little more crimson because it's a, it's a warm, a warm winey colour, isn't it? I want. So plenty of crimson now in your mix. So I'm going to go on out, make it nice and dark first. Um, let me get some black. Perhaps I try a touch of cadmium red. That might warm it slightly. Okay, let me just sit that now again. You see, it's gone very black now, isn't it? But that's okay, we can work in some nice brights into this. I will go, um, perhaps just for the top, I'm going to go for some cadmium red. Now, lots of thick paint just on its own. And crimson. So just those two colours first. Let me just try this now and see how that looks. Okay, that's not bad. And let's give it a little bit of a curve upwards and then down again there we are so we can then use some of that color as well and push some of that color into the bottom now you can see a piece down here I'm going to put a piece in there like that again I'll clean my brush let me just get some tissue I'll clean my brush now after each time I do this after each pass keep it nice and clean and see a nice red there uh, nice bright red there cadmium red is lovely now for this it's given me a nice rich color a touch of crimson and let's add a touch of that warm color just in on this side here and although it's not on the photograph I'm going to just add a touch of it in just here and there like so and then I might take some crimson maybe just on its own and add a little crimson in just along where the glass kind of bends here so you can see what I'm doing now I'm just kind of adding hints of colour just here and there now I go back to my small my medium round brush let's say the one I the bigger one I used and just add a touch of white with some crimson and I might just add a little of that just along one of the reflections just here and there look just a hint there and then I'm going to go back into my bright colour with some white let's take some white into that so very very bright pinky white now and we have a nice reflection over here don't we Like that, clean our brush again, and we have a nice one over here. It's more like a little dab of colour, that's all. That's the best way of explaining it, really. It's a dab. And around the back, like that. And let's just kind of drag some of this across into the, the red, creating almost like a reflective surface. little bit here now I do have I can see a little bit of light from the glass here where it kind of turns so I've just barely kind of went onto the canvas of that it's hardly touching it okay like so and we also have some on this side
and a little across here. I'll switch to my smaller brush and put in one or two. Just there's a little one here I can see. And I can see a little bit up there. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of looking at the photograph and putting in where I think those shapes and colours are going. So I can see a little ripple around the back of this. Small little bit of white, little white line. And we have one here, don't we? Kind of cutting across. Then it comes down like a triangle. And we have some very bright spots of red in there, don't we? I'll try cadmium red just for this, I think. Little dab there. And we have a little dab here. And I might go up with some crimson up here. So that nice rich pink just in there on the top of the glass. And I go over a little dark colour then over in the corner. Hmm. It's looking quite nice. Now what I'm gonna do at this point is you see these reflections up above that wine. I want to bring some of them down and down over that pink, okay? Because they're on the outside here, like so this one for example. I'm gonna bring this one out and down slightly, okay? Now it's picked up some of the red, but it's fine, really, it doesn't matter. And this one on this side I'm gonna bring down What we could even do, maybe with a soft brush, is soften some of these together. There. Nice and gently, hardly touching the glass. How's that? No, doesn't that look cool? That looks very, very cool, I must say. I'm very, very happy with that. Okay, let's bring it down and let's move on to our glass here, the middle of the glass, the bottom of the glass, what you call it. I think now just for this, I might take my small stubby brush, um, a little bit of brown, a bit of white. I can see a bit of kind of a browny color because it's reflecting some of the background. So some brown and some white and a touch of the crimson maybe. And let me just have a look at this now for a moment. All right, and maybe a touch of black. Ooh, that's a bit much. I went a bit, I went a bit overboard with the black there. Now let's try this here. No, that's completely wrong, isn't it? So you see, we're learning as we go. Um, try some crimson, a little bit of white and touch of burnt sienna we have a nice kind of a warm color just in under there ah that's better i'm just going to paint this down just a little bit where i can see the glass there we go now i know that's very thin but we're going to be pushing some nice little details across here. So I'm going to go with this big brush, go into some of that blacky colour that we mixed up earlier, and I'm going to bring that down just along the edge. Now can you see what I'm doing here? Let me just move the camera down very slightly. 
That's it. That's better now, isn't it? Um, okay, let's bring it, bring it on down like this. I can see it goes in like that. And I can see on the other side, it comes down also. So I'll thicken the glass now just with this, you see. I kind of push it out to make it slightly thicker. No, that's not bad. I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying this, I have to say. Getting the effect of the glass is difficult, you know. Um, it's easy enough to find, to look at the shapes and paint the shapes and the direction of the shapes and all that kind of stuff. But getting it to look like reflective glass is difficult. Now it's not perfect. I know it's not perfect. But it's a nice impression and it's a lot of fun. So there's no point in me doing any more down here until I put in the background, the, the bottom section of the painting first. Um, what I will do is with my small pointy brush, I'm going to get a little Van Dyke brown, maybe a touch of black, a touch of crimson even, and just put in some of those little details, so little lines, dark lines. Around here. There we go. And then I'm going to get some nice lights. So let's go with some nice light blue again. Um, for a reflection on the glass, for highlights on the glass, light blue is perfect. Rather than using a bright white. I think a light blue just works a bit better. Let me see now. We have a little lot of it here popping down. And just soften some more of that. Like so. Again, keep it nice and clean. And we have a little bit just on that side. A little bit of light popping through here and there. I'm just kind of flicking on the canvas. That's all I'm doing. Flicking very gently. I put a little touch of it there. Now, we heard a dog barking next door. They have a lovely little pup next door and he's beautiful, he really is. And my two dogs don't seem to get on very well at all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a lot of barking going on around here. But that's okay too, isn't it? Now, I see a nice light spot in the middle there. I'm going to take some Naples yellow and perhaps a little burnt sienna and some white. Let me just try this now for a moment. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, my next job, I'm going to just soften very gently now and pull all these down. Very gently. Okay, just for now. And, hmm, let me sit back and have a look. Oh, it's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad at all, is it? Let's fill in the bottom of our canvas. I'm just going to take my medium stubby brush and let's go for a nice warm colour. Let's go for some Van Dyke Brown. Now, a bit of turpentine in this and some crimson. And into that I might take a touch of white, just a touch. I want to complement all the colours in the painting. So let me have a look at that now. Uh, perhaps some burnt sienna. Let's take a bit of burnt sienna. And I'll go around the glass. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. We can fix it again. Let me just paint this all the way down here now. Fill, cover this canvas now with this lovely colour here. Some more burnt 
so yeah now some Van Dyke brown I'm going to make it a little darker as I go along um, I might add some white into it just around here and in fact I can see there's more pink there we go that's a bit better I think this is a lot of fun isn't it trying this kind of stuff you know it doesn't have to be landscapes all of the time I love trying this type of thing as well from time to time it's great fun great practice now let me go across the back here So, oh, just trying to get the same colours on both sides there. That's all. So there, we have that so far. Um, I'm going to try with my large stubby brush, I'm going to try create a kind of a stipple effect on this. Now, it's a dry brush. I might just take a touch of black, perhaps just on the tip of my brush. Very, very dry. And I'm just going to go along and stip it all of this, just to keep, just give it a little bit of texture, you know what I mean? That's all. So it's just not completely smooth. And I'll go along the line as well, look. There. So look, it's your painting, you can do whatever you like. And coming down here, and we could even use this stippling effect now to create a little shadow here and there. So let's take some Van Dyke Brown, and let's take a touch of black, and let's create a little shadow here and there around the glass, look. And run it off, and put a little shadow in around here. No. Okay, that'll do fine. Let's finish up our glass here now and get this looking like a wine glass. Um, okay, it's very bright there, isn't it? I'm going to take some white. Now, there's a touch of pink in this white already. And I'm going to come around and just create a nice little flick of white there. There we are. And I'm kind of going in the direction of that glass the way it kind of flicks around at a kind of a slight bend, you see. Understand what I mean? Now I'll take my smaller brush so I can just give you a little bit more control. And I'll take maybe some of the bluey colour. And I'm going to go along here. Just try and fix, just trying to fix some of the shapes, that's all. Okay, so at the end of the glass here now, it's very soft. Now this is kind of out further than that side, isn't it? I can see that now just very slightly. So I'm going to go out slightly, a little bit more. I'm just looking, just, I want it to be even on both sides. Try and get it somewhere the same. And then... Um, okay, we have a bit of a grey kind of a colour going on, don't we? Just around here is a kind of a grey, you can see that. So a little bit of black and white, and I'm going to flick it around. With little flicks, as it last turns. Do you understand? And let's go even darker actually, take a bit of the brown as well. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing, look. Little grey flicks. And I'll go up then into that colour. I'm going to make some crimson with a little Van Dyke brown. And I'm going to go up here now into this glass and add touch to that colour. Maybe a touch of burnt cyanide into that. Like so. And it kind of goes right up, doesn't it? So 
So that's kind of a lot of the rough work done. Um, after this, it's kind of work with the detail brush. Now let me just soften all of this together very gently. I just want to soften some of it in very gently, ever so gently. And then let's get our small detail brush. Now will I zoom in for you on this one? Because it's just really... You don't have to see me mixing, I don't think. Let's get some phthalo blue, lots of white again. And I'm going to just, I can see there's little kind of highlights catching it here and there. Very, very light blue color. Okay, and then it kind of flicks along, flicks around here and there, showing the kind of the curvature of the glass. Understand? You see? And we have a kind of a nice one that comes down like that. Again, I'm cleaning my brush all the time. I'm keeping it lovely and clean and bright and fresh. If your electro colours got too muddy on your brush, it just gets very, very messy, I find. So I clean my brush very regularly. And I can see we have kind of like a couple of kind of wiggles here and there on the glass now this one can kind of turn around like that you see oh, clean our brush again go back into some nice fresh white perhaps and we have a little wiggle on the glass just there and I can see we have a kind of a rim that kind of comes around like that. And it's a very sharp kind of a bright. Just here. I'm going to put one on this side. It's not on the photograph, but I'm going to put a slight hint of one just here and there. Just to separate it from the background, you see. Only just a hint. Now let's sit back a second. Just take a look at this. That's coming on nice now, isn't it? Hmm, very exciting. I love when a, pic a picture goes well like this. I love when something comes together nicely like this. It's, you get a great buzz, don't you? I really get a great kick out of all of this. Now let's put a little wiggle here. And I can see there's a couple of little dabs here and there. And I'm not happy with this section here, so I might just add a little touch of a highlight just here and there up on that up on the glass um, okay now I clean my brush I'm going to take some nice dark color I'll take a little black um, and a little crimson perhaps I just want to get a couple of dark refined lines just here and there just with the tip of the brush And I can see one or two kind of coming around here. Do you know, the darks kind of really help it as well, don't they? And we've one just on the ridge of the glass just here. I can see that. And a little one around the bottom here. Now, it's a painting, it doesn't have to be perfect, all right? Don't try to make it absolutely perfect. I'm just kind of having fun now at the moment with all of this, so I'm just going to take my time and enjoy. Enjoy the moment. That's what I'm going to do. Well, that's the plan, anyhow. Um, I might fix some of the edges on the glass up there, so with a little light blue again, let me just... Bring it up very slightly for you. I might just kind of sharpen some of the edges here with this because it's quite messy. 
You see, I'm just kind of very gently sharpening some of those edges. Just to make it a little more presentable. So you couldn't give a wine glass like this to someone, could you? I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Right, and we go along this side. Show off some of these lovely crisp edges. Now, you see? That's, that's a bit nicer. I missed something up there as well. I can see it. There's a little triangle here. And there's a little triangle on the other side as well, isn't there? I just missed the two of those just for a moment. Let me just fix those. And there's a nice bright crisp kind of a highlight then going across, isn't there? How about that? Yeah, sure that's not too bad, is it? I suggest a little bit of brown in here. And a touch of bright colour just down inside here. Now, I'm going to put my soft brush just let me zoom back, take a look. How are we looking? Pretty good. I'll soften some of these across with my soft brush. That creates a lovely reflection. You see? It's the very same when I'm painting the water on a landscape. It just softens everything together. Gives it a lovely feeling. There. So let me take a little look at this now and see how it looks. Well, I'm quite happy with that. Some of them pieces up there I think could do with some work. Um, perhaps blend them together a little bit slight, a little bit more, make them a little more straight looking. How's that? It just looks a little messy for a second, just for a moment. Let me just get some light blue colour again. Soften them in. Perhaps just a little bit more. And this one. There. I would say that is pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. What about some chocolate? What's my time? I'm looking at my, my time on the camera. I have 36 minutes left of recording time, which is probably realistically um, 10 minutes. Let's try some chocolate, will we? Let's get this small stubby brush. And make sure you can see what I'm doing here now. Let me zoom right back. Let's get some. Hmm, a chocolate colour. Let's try Van Dyke Brown. Some white. Oh, lots of Van Dyke Brown in this. And some crimson. I can see a little crimson in here and plenty of white. Let's just try this for a moment. Let's just paint a square. Okay, a rectangle of chocolate. Look at that. Most watering chocolate. Mmm. I love chocolate myself. I'm a sucker for chocolate. I, ha I, I eat chocolate almost every day of the week. And you know what? It's done me no harm whatsoever. Well, I'm not sure my arteries would say the same, but... I feel fine, for now, at least. A little bit of dark next to it there. Let's take our small pointy brush and let's get some Van Dyke Brown with some black. And let's put some shadows in here and there. So we've one along there. We have another one along here. With a break in the middle. And a very strong shadow coming along between the two blocks of chocolate. Mm, it looks nice already. And we have another one kind of comes down like that. Don't we? 
and we have okay, a little bit of a ridge across the top there yeah looks pretty nice doesn't it and let's get a little dark along the bottom there and there Oh, is that? Hmm. That looks nice, doesn't it? I put a bit of black just down the side of it here. Darken that a little. And let's put a little. Imagine there's some chocolate in underneath, little squares of it popping up here and there. It's resting on something else, isn't it? Let's imagine that's the case. A little dark here and there. Then I'll take some lighter colour and suggest it could be anything, couldn't it? No, just soften that into the background a little look, just here and there, see? And I might even add a little touch of highlight to the top of the chocolate here and there where it's kind of really catching the light, isn't it? Some very bright colour up there. Lovely colour, actually. And let's get a bit more. Just to separate little blocks of chocolate. That's all. No. And there we go. Perhaps even let's put a few across here, just to one side of it. Okay. And a little dark colour just underneath. I'm just messing around now, just kind of filling it in, that's all. And there we have it. And there we go. Let me just add a little shadow to the back of these. I think it might just help. It might ruin it also, but look, let's just add a little slight hint of a shadow just along the back of those. I think it would help sort of sit them down, wouldn't it? There we are. And I'll drag a slight shadow from this out as well. There. And that, my friends, is it. What do we think about that? Let's zoom in now and take a look at what we have created. That's quite nice, isn't it? Now there's something there I want to fix. Bear with me for a moment. Let me just get some crisp white and just go along back of that okay it was just kind of sticking out there and I wasn't too happy about it that's better nice reflections on some glass and I hope I simplified it somewhat for you And some nice chocolate and I will probably enjoy a glass of red wine myself tonight I think after this I think I deserve it don't you let me turn this around here and you can see me I enjoy that not that fun something different I'll stick that now in the frame I might sell it you know let's see if there's any wine drinkers out there who'll buy this yes go on so look go off and have a bit of fun with that let me know what you think if you have any questions whatsoever, um, stephenconway12 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for all your support and your compliments and your confidence in me. I hope I'm helping your work and I hope I'm helping you just approach it in a nice, relaxing, fun kind of a manner. Okay? So just go, just have a bit of fun. Grab a bit of canvas, you know, don't 
expect any amazing results. That's what I do. I, I never expect my work to turn out um, amazing and fantastic. Sometimes it's just, it doesn't happen. Sometimes. Um, you have to, and that's how you learn. And that's how I learn. I learn from the mistakes that I make on the canvas. So the next time, I know not to do the same thing. Okay, so go on. Let me know what you think. Have a bit of fun with that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe for all my latest videos. And I've done plenty more on Patreon as well. Um, go and take a look if you like. If you want to support me, okay? I'll see you next week. I'm not sure what I'll do, but it'll be nice. Go on, happy painting. And I will see you next week. God bless.